evening. Just finished a good morning workout. Tr trying to get back into that morning routine. And got a coffee from Starbucks. This is free from my um, rewards that I have. And I try to use it right before they um, inflate their rewards again. I remember originally it was even 125, you know, and now they grew 150 and now 200 and then it's just growing more and more each time, you know? But yeah, anyhow, I didn't realize how good it feels to just work out in the morning. You know, it's just the waking up part. It's hard to wake, to get yourself to wake up that moment. But when you do, it really feels good, you know? Like, boom! <laughs> As one of my coach, dance coaches would say, boom! <laughs> so, up and awake, and you get to like, you know, you're ready to do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm, I was just listening to a podcast <clears throat> and some music while I'm working out. and it, It's a good day, you know? It's a good day, you know, to get started. Um, but yeah, you know, I know, I hope you have a good day and, you know, and yeah. Hello. Good afternoon. Just got back um, from this morning at a different location. Um, I always feel more productive doing work, um, work elsewhere, but just made myself a rose matcha. Um, I got, um, I'm, using, I'm using the matcha powder from this cafe that my friend got for me when he visited the Bay Area, Asha Tea House. And um, oat milk from Costco, um, bulk oat milk that another friend recommended uh, for both for the value and for the quality and so it's really good. Thanks, Bubana Hanan. But yeah, so I'm about to do <clears throat> another iteration of these um, Day in the Lives. For those of you who don't know, I am a model risk um, analyst um, at a um, top five domestic bank in the US. What is model risk, you might ask? Um, we review all the models um, that the um, the bank uses and no not these models you know like we don't get to you know judge people from their like fashion tastes um i wish i could um though i'm not sure how good of a job i would because like i'm still learning about my own fashion tastes you know it's different models ranging from uh excel based models like a discounted cash flow to statistical models you know predicting probabilities of default machine learning models that you know help detect fraud manage interest rate risk uh, all sorts. And my role, I um, am part of this system where I work on a subspace of those models and really dig into the model, ensure that, you know, the model that is used every day, you know, is valid, you know, and um, yeah, so I've been able to get a, you know, a view of just different areas um, of banking, um, different types of models, you know, more mathematical models, um, but even just get a kind of get a sense of the tenets of modeling, you know, like to really, you know, understand what, what underlying assumptions hold and will they hold in all cases, you know, and kind of play around with that. Learning about, you know, really, you know, I've gone through um, COVID-19 crisis, you know, the recession, the mild recession and this current, you know, inflation, slow session kind of state. And the implication that poses on models um, so I'm currently working on a pretty big model, um, you know, kind of, you know, putting together the, the, the draft report um, and then I send it over to um, other um, validators on my team, we, come, we call our team validators. Um, a lot of, um, almost everyone has like either an advanced master's or PhD degree. Um, 
which in which you can see is a um, what kind of caliber of work we are looking for. Um, uh, it's definitely not your traditional um, banking investment banking kind of work. It's um, more academic, but uh, but in many ways, I was I actually you know think which you know take it with a grain of salt because I'm, bi I'm biased because I'm on the team. Probably more important you know than those investment banking roles. Um, uh, just because we actually we actually had to validate a lot of the models they use. Um, well, anyhow, you know, I'm not trying to like uh, bash on any areas. Um, all areas of the banking is important, you know. Like, really, like even from like uh, another really a takeaway I got from this job in this position is, you know, every space is important. You know, like models we had to review. Um, sometimes not only is it the methodology, you know, is, uh, oftentimes the most obvious part we uh, review, but um, you know, customer impact relations, you know, like how the um, line of business, how the people, the tellers that you see, how they interact with the model, you know, like the, the implementability of the models, you know, like you can have, um, a, you know, a more robust you know, or like a very like, you know, um, accurate, you know, methodology, but if it's too difficult or too costly to train or to use by the front line, sometimes you may have to opt for the second best or third best, you know, options. Um, and so it's, you know, it, it's, you know, been a very interesting experience, you know, um, to say the least. Um, and currently being, you know, hybrid, you know, uh, like, um, it kind of spices things up, um, allowing the flexibility of, you know, remote, um, but also I still get to see some of my team members. Even though I have seen, you know, since I started the job pre-COVID, you know, um, I have for the most part seen that, you know, a good chunk of my team, you know, um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to get back to work and, you know, talk to you later.
like I said, if you are a little bit overwhelming, or we have enough resources that we can uh, share with you and uh, help you to uh, to get that uh, uh, work done. And uh, just uh, let me know uh, if there if, if there's if there's best for you. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then the next one, I will hand the tool to Eric. Uh, he were talking about a lot of the uh, market risk model. Uh, one one big topic in the market risk is uh, the VAR model. Okay, VAR model have a lot of different uh, uh, assets. And uh, the, Eric, it's, uh, it's time for you to take the show. Yes. Let me know when you guys can see the screen. Okay. Let me. Yes. So um, as Andy introduced, um, uh, this is on value at risk, VAR. Um, so as a background, um, VAR, you know, in the sense